hopefully it works. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. Um, it's been a couple days since I've talked to you. I need to do some writing. I could do that forever so my fingers fall off. Um, today was a good day, spent the day with my friend. Um, I don't know if she wants her name on YouTube, but uh, let's call her A. And uh, we had a lot of fun and ran around in the rain and had a nice brunch and uh, did some shopping and I almost bought a hundred dollar fake bearskin rug thing to put on top of my bed because it looks cool. But I refrained because I thought I could find it cheaper somewhere else. And that is the only reason I refrained. My friend was suggestive that we wait till Black Friday, but I didn't think they'd be around for Black Friday, so it was hard. But in the end, I just didn't want to carry it from my car to the house. But I did treat myself to this lovely mug, travel mug, my initials on it. Um, it has lemonade and not skinny water. I think I'm giving up on the skinny water and I'm actually just going to do stuff that makes me skinny, like work out and don't eat crap. So anyways, if anybody was looking at my Instagram, which is simply my name, I think, um, just go to ToriMania.com and it'll take you to my Instagram. Um, I, I posted something about being punked and I wanted to uh, explain that and talk a little bit about what to do when you found I when you find out that you've been lied to like really obviously been lied to like I was given some information um, despite the fact my shirt says good vibes um, I was given some information earlier in the week by someone saying that something was uh, canceled until next year, but it apparently wasn't, and I was just uninvited, um, and that was her way of doing it, and I found out today that that's what happened. And I didn't know whether or not to confront her, to send her a text, to let it go. Um, and I don't know why she made the decision that she made the decision because I thought that we had a connection of some kind. Um, and um, she said that what I was doing in general wasn't for everyone. And I don't know if that was her like cue to tell me to like get out of the business or I suck or I don't know what. But the fact of the matter is, is that I'm pretty sure I was lied to. And after thinking about it, generally I would just start texting some, you know, crap. Like, did you purposely like dismiss me from this opportunity? Um... You know, why did you do that? Like, pretty confrontive, confrontational. I don't think confrontive is a word, unless I make it a word today. Today, confrontive is a word. Um, and, and then I thought, like, I don't know how much of a shit I give. The advice that I get from this person is like 50-50. I mean, she's really good ideas, but all the stuff that she told us to do made her sales go. Um, and I don't know why that is because she's a pioneer in the industry. And um, I really looked up to her and I really trusted her, which is what sucks. Um, and... I just decided to let it go and to seek the information from other, you know, platforms or other ways to 
I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with this with this particular thing. I I really don't. I mean, it's like anything goes with eBay. It just, anything goes. I just don't understand it. Um, and I'm not the only one that says that, and I'm not the only one that sees that. And the people that make it work for them have like warehouses of inventory and are doing massive things and have massive money and are, you know, seem to have the touch to pick the right items to flip and they know how to do the math. And I don't think I'm built that way. And like I said, I told my husband at the end of the year, I'm kind of like done with it. And I really want to focus on this and writing and writing my book and he kind of begged me to not do that. Um, and I feel like a hostage at this point. And I feel like this woman kind of like kicking me out of whatever it is that we were doing um, kind of solidifies the fact that I, what the F, you know? So I decided to let it go and just not say anything to her and whatever happens with it happens with it i i don't care there's like this one guy that manipulates the entire hour and a half or however long it is and other people can't get a word in edgewise and he talks about the same thing over and over again and it's boring as shit and I watch the other people in the group while he's talking and they're doodling and stuff like that. And so it's, it's not fair. People aren't getting their, their, their due time to talk about their needs and stuff. And, um, so he should just have the hour to himself and everybody else can just kind of wing it, I guess. But, um, it feels bad and, um, I don't appreciate it and I am thankful that the course was comped so I don't understand like that either and I've bought product from her as well so I mean and she's given to me and I've given to her so I'm very confused about why this happened but it happened nonetheless and nobody likes to be rejected and nobody likes to be lied to so I guess my advice, and if you find yourself in a situation like that, is um, decide if it's worth the fight. Pick your battles. Pick your battles carefully and be careful if you're going to burn the bridge and watch it behind you. Just if Some things aren't worth it. You know, Maybe I misunderstood the whole thing. Um, and the only way I would know that would be to confront her and I, I don't want to talk to her. So, um, I guess going forward, I will not engage or I'm just going to let it be. And if, you know, she comes back and says, we're doing this, then maybe I'll decline. I, I don't know, but pick your battles carefully. Um, being lied to sucks. Being punked out sucks. Um, and you need to know your energy is precious and your time is precious. And you don't get your time back. Once it's spent, it's spent. Like once you get done watching these 10 minutes, these 10 minutes are gone forever. So I hope that you're getting something out of it. And... Um, I serve an example of something crappy that happened and I'm choosing to let it go, like let go, let God and find out what I need to find out through another source, if at all, because I I still don't, I still kind of want to be free of this endeavor. Um, so I, I don't know what's going on with that, but that's another vlog for another time or another blog for another time. So anyways, so that's the story. I hope that it was helpful to you 
and um, don't pity me, I'm fine, I have good vibes, my dog has to go outside and pee, so I'm going to wrap it up, um, may you have a great rest of the weekend, it's rainy here in Chicago, but sun still shines for me, all right, take care, God bless, thanks for watching, and torymania.com, yes, thanks, bye.